Good evening, Traveling Chef is here showing you how to make very chic, very elegant entree, appetizer, whatever you want it to be, it will be. It's gonna be a pan sear tuna steak and a bit of arugula with some balsamic glaze. Sounds complicated, but it's very easy. So let's get together and I'm gonna to prove you that it's so easy to make, just five minutes. is hot I'm ready to go guys so here you go your chef is unleashed ready to cook you this great tuna steak first step hot pan a little bit of olive oil not too much just a half a teaspoon that's all we need keep it warm for now tuna steak is ready a couple of different ingredients not too fancy nothing like dramatic but very delicious now I have here a very nice tomato ripe tomato Jersey tomato oh yeah baby here we go look at this dancing already happy you like me so that tomato is dancing go in to celebrate with us so i'm just cutting it to little wedges here if you have cherry tomato that works also i put my tomatoes in here right now i have some of this olive oil here goes i got some of this crushed coarse black pepper also some seasoning in here for my steak by the way whatever you have just use it put tons of it put a lot of it why because we're going to pan sear it so we need some bite it's not going to be plain and boring and the other side on it goes off it goes in the other side the little bit of the olive oil will make it stick together. Give it a pat here, give it a tap. Don't tap the hell out of it, otherwise the tuna will cry. Just keep it going and get it to stick to this beautiful tuna steak. And that baby is ready to go. You could use any kind of seasoning you might want here. And this is ready to be pan seared. Crank the stove right and high. So it goes in high here, let me move this squeezer out of the way. Got a couple of different ingredients here. Why this pan is getting very smoky hot. I want this pan to be smoking hot. If I don't see any smoke, I'm not starting cooking this tuna. Why is that? Because tuna is very lean, as you guys know. Beautiful, nice, lean, packed with protein, 100% protein, zero fat, which is very good for you. However, if you cook it in a pan, medium heat it, not totally hot, smoking hot, it's going to actually get dry and it's going to be very bad. So we're going to do it Akai style. We're going to make it rare, pan seared, proper pan seared. Now the pan is very hot, so let's get to drop this tuna in this little bit of oil here. And we're gonna cook it in each side for two minutes only. So the tuna goes in there, very careful, watch your face when you do that. Step back a little bit and just lay your tuna here. And off it goes. Tuna is gonna take only two minutes. So while this is happening, I'm just organizing myself. Nothing dramatic, very, very nice, very easy going here. And I need a little bit of a napkin or a paper towel to receive my tuna. It's gonna take two minutes. As you can see here, the tuna is already cooking. Can you see the change of the color here? This is great. So I wanted this tuna to be actually pan seared black in a little bit. So I'm going to turn it over in about one minute. Off it goes. Look at that. That's the beautiful color I'm looking for. Here it goes to this side. Hear that sound. We're going to cook it from the outside, though it's not cooked from the inside. We want the inside to be nice and rare. This is a sushi grade tuna, so it's the best tuna you can ever get. So nice, very healthy for you. And I said, we're going to finish it off with a bit of arugula or any mixed green you might have little bit baby tomatoes a little bit of a balsamic glaze, Italian balsamic glaze and it's going to be fantastic that's all I needed from this tuna right now shut the flame off so I'm going to shut the flame off as you can see and the tuna is perfectly happy we don't want to overcook the tuna it's a crime to overcook this great tuna as you can see here it's perfectly ready do the sides hold it with your tongues here do the edges Sear the edges also, lock the flavor, lock the juices, make it happy. So I lock all the juices everywhere in that tuna and that's all you need and you don't need to turn it anymore. This is perfectly happy tuna. Now I'm going to get myself a nice plate and I'm going to come back in a minute. I'm going to show you how you dish a very elegant, though very delicious tuna steak pan seared George style. So let's go guys and get the plate. For about a couple of minutes, so it looks great. I received it here in a paper towel so it doesn't get juices all over the place. Now, I'm gonna cut it to nice, nice, beautiful diagonal steaks, like such. Here you go. And that looks good, it's a nice size. And off it goes. And remember, it's not cooked in the inside, so don't think we mess this up, that's how we want it. Nice and pink in the inside, that looks beautiful, look at that. It's like music, like the piano here. Look at them. They look so beautiful and so happy. Now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to mix it with some mixed greens, some arugula. 
in that gorgeous plate here. Nice washed, pre-washed arugula already. So I don't have to do much work with that. Now it goes, spread it around, make a nice happy bed here for you. And then we're gonna go with the tuna steak. The best way to dish that guys, is to go like this with the knife and just go one shot like that. And off it goes, here you go. So one shot, so it looks nice and happy. And late like this, so you can see the beauty of the color of the fresh tuna here. You could keep this for later on if you wanna eat it later. I won't go crowd my plate. I'm just gonna keep this on the side for now. And now I'm gonna just clean my hand a little bit. And then I'm gonna get some of this tomato wedges. It's a very simple dish, but very delicious. You don't wanna to be too crazy with it. Just keep it very simple. The idea of it is to eat the tuna. I wanna eat the tuna, I wanna enjoy that beautiful protein. So that's all you need right now. You have a couple of pieces of wedges of lemon. You wanna be fancy. You wanna impress someone, just decorate it. With a couple of wedges, I prepared the head. So here they are. And that's all you have to do. One more thing here is missing. You could go with a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil and now we'll have some fat. We don't want that. We're gonna keep it very lean today. So we're gonna have some balsamic glaze. You can buy that in the supermarket. It's coming from Italy. It's actually an Italian made product and it's beautiful. It's made out of balsamic vinegar. Just drizzle over it something. Some drizzle off it goes. Make like a nice kind of decoration here. And that looks great. Just decorate all the plate like that. And that's all you need here. You can go over the tomato if you want also. And that looks fantastic. Look at that. So that's a beautiful, happy, happy. Let's go under the light here and have a look at that great dish here. Isn't that beautiful? And that's very delicious, by the way. The cracked black pepper and the spices here kept it very nice from the outside and, and kind of firm. And the inside is very soft, very delicious, very happy. So let's go and try it out. So come on, guys, we'll put this back in the table, clean ourselves up, and we're going to try it together. Let's check it out, guys, see how it goes. I'm going to go right in the center here, getting the biggest piece here. And I don't need any black pepper. I got tons of it. So I'm happy with that. Let's try the first bite here. Mmm. Very delicious actually. Very, very sweet. The balsamic. The sweetness of the balsamic. And let's try some arugula here. Mmm. The pepperness of the arugula, the sweetness of the tuna and the glaze is so delicious. It's just a melody of flavor. Very, very happy for celebration between the two. And look at that sear that's happening here on the outside of that tuna. Let's get a bigger piece. I'm making an excuse just to grab a bit more piece to eat, of course. And to show you how is that beautiful chemistry here between the searing on the outside and the raw, delicate flavor in the inside. Let's get another bite here. And we'll get some arugula. We'll get some tomato. Let's maximize this flavor. Oh, yeah. Let's get it happy together. Let's roll it around that fork. And that's to you guys. That's a great tuna here. One more bite. Let's see all together what it tastes like. Mmm, very nice. I love the flavor of the balsamic glaze. If you guys haven't tried that, you should. It'll give you an elegance. It can actually comes like in a squeezer shape, form kind of thing. So it comes like that. Look at that. It comes beautiful. So you can decorate. You can be creative. You can do whatever you want with it. And don't forget, it's so sweet in the flavor, and it's very healthy for you. Let's try one more bite, dear head guys. Once you try one bite, you cannot stop with this great flavor very delicious and I'm gonna have it this time with some tomatoes also and let's stab these tomatoes with that fork some of this gorgeous baby arugula and let's go one more time mmm this very nice contrast the warm the warmth of the tuna the refreshment the fresh flavor of the arugula and the tomatoes it goes beautiful actually it's a very nice contrast very pleasant that goes good in summer and it goes good in winter as well. Very delicious flavor. Very nice. If you don't have balsamic glaze, use just regular balsamic. But don't go crazy. Drizzle a little bit of it. Like I said, you can put some nice extra virgin olive oil over it. And that's going to be very delicious. Cheers to very good tuna. Very yummy. Very delicious. Packed with protein. Good for muscles, guys. Cheers. All right, guys. So that thumbs it up for tonight's uh, class. Actually, it's not a class. It's just fun. I've been having fun with my uh, friends. I really enjoy teaching guys and sharing my knowledge with you. I hope you enjoyed this tuna dish today and I'm looking forward to some comments. I want to get some comments from you guys saying that you tried it and hopefully you like it. I'm pretty sure you do. And if you do, please let me know and subscribe please if you haven't yet. I've seen a lot of people have subscribed to my channel, The Traveling Chef, and I'm looking forward for more from you. I really appreciate your company guys. Thanks everybody and have a great night and happy seafood and happy eating.